I might be the first one to say this. Pain is painfully mid. It really is. A lot of people say that this is a really good skilled fruit, but I disagree. If not the worst legendary is for one simple reason. Pain lacks move variety. It does not have any move variety whatsoever. If we take a quick look here, we have a projectile attack, a projectile attack, a projectile attack, a projectile attack. I think you guys are seeing the problem. Now, I mean, yeah, there's this move, but it's just, it's just a teleport, which is good. There's nothing wrong with the teleport. Teleports are good. This is good. That's pretty good. Nothing wrong with that, but that's one move. The entire moveset of pain is pretty much the same thing. Just copy and paste it really over and over. Projectile and not only that, none of these moves stun besides the ultimate attack. If we go ahead and take a look at, I'll compare this to other legendaries in a moment, but I want to focus on the fact that this thing has a huge lack of move variety. And I see that as a very bad thing. Very, very bad thing. A fruit needs to have variety in order to have more answers to certain situations. It can't just be the same thing across every single move because that makes it hard to combo. And not only that, it's just this fruit has a huge lack of stun stun. This doesn't stun. None of this stuff stuns. And the only thing that does stun really just has a... Re a really small amount of stun. A really small amount of stun. That's all cheapest legendary. Let's go with Quake. So thing right off the bat is that one one distinguishable trait from Quake here is that it has way more variety than than pain. If we go ahead to Fatal Demolisher, pull him in, send him back, that, and then you have a projectile attack. That's different. Those two are not the same moves. And we have it's self-centered AoE attack, pretty different. And then we have another sort of a self-centered AoE attack, but then we have waves come in. If we compare the move variety of this to pain, we're gonna notice right off the bat that Quake has a little bit more going on in its move set. The biggest saving grace for pain is the V skill and the F skill. If these two skills did not exist for pain, people would not be using it. People will not be using this whatsoever. Like, absolutely not. Another thing that people say that's really good about pain is that it has a lot of range, but it's not really a good thing. And it's like, it's not a good thing if this is the speed of your projectiles. A lot of range doesn't matter if your projectiles move that slowly. What is having good range matter if your projectiles move at that speed? Realistically, in combat, you're never landing this from far away. So the range is pretty irrelevant at that point. So the whole range thing is off the table. But Buddha has Buddha has a little AOE thing, and then it has a really long range. Now this is long range. It's very long range, and it hits the mouse cursor almost instantly. That's the thing with long range. If you're going to have long range attacks, the actual projectile needs to be fast. The projectile is very fast. It hits its target very easily. So that works out well. And then we have this move. Big AoE. And then we have Retribution Dash. People can use this to grab opponents. Or they can use it as a little bit of speed. There is a lot more move variety going on here. Same with Love. Love also has more move variety than Pain. You see? We've got the AoE Cupid Zone. Fires wherever you want, and then we have this self-centered AoE that pulls them in, and then we have a projectile attack, an NPC that fights for you, and then we also have Flamingo Ride, a pretty decent flight skill that also lets you use your moves on top of it. There is way more move variety and things to work with. It's just the issue I'm trying to get across here is that Pain Pain's kit is extremely limited. It doesn't give you a lot to work with because everything pain has is just a lot of the same thing. Projectile, 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 projectile. And then with the with the exception being self-repel, which I'm not gonna lie, self-repel is really just rumble v1. The rumble we v1 f skill, copy and pasted, but it's still good. 
that's the issue though because with rumble v2 you can just get the same thing but three times pain is extremely outdated and it needs to be changed not a good fruit by my standards because it doesn't have what a good fruit have even control which a lot of people don't like and control has a lot more move right being able to toss trees buildings and then you have this leads into really good combos has stun and then gamma rush attacks an ao attacks within a really large aoe and then of course teleport which infinitely has more range than pain's self repel it's just pain doesn't have any variety a lot of people call it a skilled fruit and i would agree to an extent that it is a skilled fruit but at the same time thing you have in the arsenal of pain is this the, the, this is your most reliable attack if everything else i guess is just something a little extra to throw in there because none of these other moves stun whatsoever the c move in fact just has knockback and it's really slow but that's pretty much gonna be it pain is a pretty terrible fruit yes it's skilled but i feel like people use the word skill to cover up that a fruit bad i really just don't get it, it it's skilled uh, i i guess i'll say it's skilled but as it's almost as expensive as blizzard this is literally nearing the top of where mythical is i know this is gonna be reworked but i'm just saying pain as it is right now it, absolute mess that's pretty much all i have to say